in this video i will discuss about speed and velocity right now what is speed speed is the rate at which an object covers a distance right that means speed is a scalar quantity it has only magnitude and it has no direction okay therefore it is a scalar quantity suppose this is an object and this covers a distance of 25 km 15 km and 35 km okay so what we see here we see that the object covers total 75 km in 3 hours right then we can say that is speed equal to total distance that means 25 plus 15 plus 35 by 3 hours and it becomes 75 km by 3 hour that means it is 25 km per hour right it has no directions that means speed is a scalar quantity as we know there are two type of motion uniform motion and non uniform motion similarly we have two type of speed uniform speed okay and non uniform speed right so what is uniform speed if an object covers equal distance of equal distances in equal time period or equal time intervals then we can say that the object is in uniform motion or uniform speed right here okay so, suppose it is 5 meter three part of the distance and it covers in 2 second right so we can say that this object is in uniform speed or have uniform speed similarly if the object cover three unequal distances right like 9 meter 5 meter and 6 meter in equal time interval suppose 5 second 5 second 5 second okay so we can say that this object have non uniform speed right the another term here comes also we say what is instantaneous speed instantaneous speed right suppose an object is moving here okay on this line and it is changing the speed okay throughout its journey right so what here first of uh, the object has 5 meter per second speed okay and after that at this suppose at t1 instant its speed increases to 7 meter per second okay and at t2 distance its speed increases or decreases to 3 meter per second and at t3 it become 12 meter per second so the speed of the object is varying right so at any time point of time the speed of that object is called instantaneous speed right suppose at t3 speed at t3 instant what will be 12 meter per second so at t3 the instantaneous speed is 12 meter per second i think it is clear velocity velocity may be defined as the rate of change of displacement okay or it can also be defined as rate of change of position of an object okay velocity is a vector quantity that means it has direction for example if an object moving with a speed of 65 km per hour towards its direction then we say its speed is 65 km per hour h in some cases we see that the velocity remains zero even the object has covered a distance right here i am showing a ball which is covering a circular 
path right here we notice that the ball has covered a distance of 2 pi r that means the distance equal to the perimeter of the circle right but here the displacement is zero we know that the velocity is the rate of change of displacement and not the distance therefore the velocity of the ball here is zero okay as the displacement zero here. okay the ball has a speed but the velocity is zero here right So, the formula of velocity is um, if V is the velocity and S is the distance covered in time t, right? This is a velocity and S is the displacement cover, not distance, displacement and t is the time taken okay so the formula of v will be s by t okay and if the unit of displacement is in meter and time in second then its units become meter per second okay so this is the formula of velocity right and if we say that the velocity of an object is 6 meter per second so it is not complete right we have to mention the direction okay that means east or west or north right so 6 meter per second east is the velocity okay and if we were only say 6 meter per second then it becomes speed it is speed right so we can say the this magnitude portion uh, meter per second taking this one also unit also it is the speed right and if we if we mention direction east or west then it becomes velocity right so as we uh, earlier said uh, about the speed there are uniform speed and non-uniform speed similarly in case of velocity there are uniform velocity right uniform velocity if an object if an object cover a distance in a particular direction not distance displacement okay then in equally interval of time okay suppose it covers 15 meter in equal distance of time the suppose this is 15 meter this is 15 meter this is 15 meter right so total is 45 meter right and for each segment it is taking 6 second 6 second and 6 second then we say that the object has uniform velocity okay similarly there are non uniform velocity non uniform velocity okay if the object this object covers equal displacement right in unequal interval of time suppose this is 15 meter this is also 15 meter this is also 15 meter and it takes like this 7 second 5 second and 3 second right so the object covers the each segment of the displacement in unequal interval of time then we say that the object is in non-uniform velocity right we can also see
six tenses, right? Twenty meter in the first segment, and in the second segment, let fifteen meter, and in the third segment, let it covers thirty five meter in equal interval of time, right? Suppose ten second, ten second. Okay. If the object covers unequal distances in equal time intervals then we can also say that the object has non uniform velocity right so either the unequal distances or uh, the equal distances with unequal interval of time or it covers unequal distances in equal interval of time then the object will have non uniform velocity right non uniform velocity also realized uh, in the case i am showing here suppose this is a circular path okay and this is the object okay this object is moving in this circular path right so at each distance this instance the ball have speed and direction okay but the problem is that the directions are changing okay directions are changing but suppose the speed is same so it is 5 meter per second but the direction is changing here it was towards south direction here it is towards east direction here it is in north direction here it is west direction so we can say the object having the same magnitude of the speed but it is changing the direction therefore this velocity is also called non uniform velocity okay non uniform velocity right as we discussed earlier about the instantaneous speed right similarly stand instantaneous speed similarly we also notice instantaneous velocity also here right what is instantaneous velocity if this is an object which is moving in this this direction suppose in the east direction and at different instants stands at t1 t2 or t3 its velocity are changing varying right suppose at t1 instant the velocity is 12 meter per second okay and at t2 suppose it is 15 meter per second and at t3 it is 25 meter per second so we notice here that the velocity are varying okay or at t4 it is 5 meter per second it doesn't means that the velocity will increase okay Uh, as per the uh, time stands are proceeding right so varying means it may increase or decrease so if i say at t2 instant right instantaneous velocity will be will be 15 meter per second right instantaneous velocity at t2 okay i think it is clear at t3 it is 25 meter per second or at t4 instant it is 5 meter per second right next one last thing about the velocity is average velocity okay suppose an object has varying velocity right suppose here it is 10 meter per second here it is 15 meter per second here it is 6 meter per second okay and the time interval during various segment is suppose 5 6 10 50 right so that means i am here telling about second okay so these are the uh, various velocity changing velocity right Here, so it is five meter per second, and this for this segment, this for this segment, this for this segment, right? And here we are watching that the velocity are varying, 
okay that means the displacement uh, during various instance will be different okay so what we uh, see here the we will find the displacement from initial position to the final position okay and we will sum up the time to find out the average velocity is it clear that means average velocity equal to displacement right by total time right total time okay i think it is clear in the next video i will discuss about velocity time graph displacement time graph right it is very important okay the next video uh, i will upload soon right